Yes, I got a haircut. Hi guys, Top Ops here. Today we're going Funko Pop hunting, and first we're going into Value Village. Now this is a hit or miss, but I thought I would show it anyways because you never know. We found some pretty cool stuff here before, so let's go in and let's get started. All right, everybody, so I made it back to the toys here, and I'm kind of looking for, like, Pez and Pops. That's pretty much it. Maybe Pokemon cards as well. But for right now, I don't see much. So I'll let you guys know. Well, here's something kind of interesting. I'm not going to be buying this today, but this is a Transformers Mighty Mug, and they sell these at, like, Dollarama for, I believe, like, $4. So why is it 7 here? Well, 8 actually. Yeah, kind of pricey. I'm not going to be buying it, but it is kind of nice. Now, for everybody wondering where you would find a Funko Pop here, usually these bags, the ones that are kind of like the McDonald's toys, are the best ones to look in. What is this? I don't even know what the... Oh, it's a Barbie. Okay, so yeah, I'm just kind of digging through these to see what I can find, and they have some cool stuff, but nothing that I'm looking for so far but I will keep digging. All right, everybody, so it is windy out and we are done in Value Village. They really didn't have anything great, but now let's go into EB Games and fingers crossed they've got some new stuff. All right, everybody, so we are inside now and the first thing that I found was over in the Pokemon section and you guys remember how I got this binder a while ago. Well, the first set of packs came out, so I'm definitely getting this today. All right, everybody, so now we are over in the pop section and it looks like they got in some really great stuff because I haven't been in here since they opened up again. So there really is some figures that I haven't seen in a while, like, where did they go? Oh, here they are, here. The Star Wars, and these are the Ralph McCory versions of them, so kind of like the concept art. So we have the Yoda, as well as the R2-D2, and I think I'm probably going to be getting both of these today. I just want to take a quick look at the box before I actually grab them, and they look to be in pretty nice condition, so yes, I am definitely getting these two. And then now, sadly, they do have almost all of the Spider-Man Miles Morales characters here, and I did order these ones online, so I'm not able to pick them up today, but when they do come in, you guys know I'm going to be doing a huge video on every single one of them. And now, it looks like they did get in one of the Zombie Morbius, and I'm guessing this is actually from the Emerald City Comic Con release day, so it's kind of cool that they do have one of these left. And then they also got in one of the characters here, which is the Zombie Thor. Now that is a nice one. I don't know if I'm going to get it today, but it is cool to see here. And then a little bit lower, I did notice this a very different series, but this one is the Cotton Candy My Little Pony. And this one is scented, and I kind of want to get it just to see what it smells like. I don't know, I'm debating on this one. Actually guys, one more thing before we get out of here. I found a Dobby plush, and I just have to ask Harry Potter, what is this? Mmm. All right, everybody, so I got all of my stuff over at EB Games. Now, I think the next door we're going to is Hot Topic, so we'll see you there. All right, everybody, so it is windy out, but we made it over to the outlet mall, so let's go into Hot Topic, and fingers crossed they've got some good stuff. I'm just waiting in line right now, guys, but before we go in, I thought I would show you guys what is in the front window, because there is some new exclusives here, especially with these ones here. So they still have some of the SpongeBob weightlifting, the Mr. Plow, Mrs. Peacock, and the Zombie Alpaca, but other than that, it looks like they also got in some new fruits baskets. I know it's hard to see, but I will show it off better once we get inside. All right, everyone, if I'm to be honest, there are a lot of pops here that I want to show off, so I've already kind of grabbed the pile that I want, and it's kind of tough to show everything off, but I'll try my best here. Like, they got in more of the scented, I believe, flocked slush puppy, or it might just be scented. I'm not too sure, but I'm definitely grabbing that one today. They also got in the Diamond Edition Powder Donut, and I am trying to show off the rest of the stuff, guys, but it is hard because of how many people are here, so I'm trying my best. And then, guys, over on this side, I wanted to show off all of the newer McDonald's ones because I think they got in a restock of a couple of them. It might have been just the Rock Hut Ronald, but it also could have been Birdie the Early Bird. I don't remember. It's one of them was getting low, but it also could have been the Nuggets. I don't know. Whatever it is, guys. They do have a bunch of these, and they also have the Mr. Plow, Duffman, pretty much the whole new Simpsons wave, including the exclusives, which is nice. Then I found these guys up here, which are the newer Deadpool, so I'm definitely going to be grabbing a couple of these. I'm just not sure which ones yet. Oh, and also, I can't forget these Spider-Man Miles Morales Pops. I did order as many as I possibly could off of EB Games, but I didn't order the Hot Topic exclusive, of course, because it's exclusive to Hot Topic, so I am definitely grabbing that one today. All right, guys, so I got a bit of time where nobody's here, so let's quickly speed run this thing and show you guys what they've got. So they've got all of the newer Friends Pops. I don't think I'm going to be getting any of these today, but if you guys would like to see a hunt on them, please let me know in the future. We also have the Dumb and Dumber ones, and it looks like the chases are gone for these if they had them. Same with the TLC ones, with the one missing right there. Other than that, though, guys, it is really a bunch of good pops today. Like, look at this. Okay, hold on. Let me do a slow pan here so you guys can see all of the new stuff that they got in because it is really a crazy amount of figures today. Oh, and then for anybody wondering, those ones right there are the ones I'm getting. All right, guys, so I got all my stuff over at Hot Topic, and it's kind of hard to hide one of the things, but let's go back to the studio and let's check it all out. All right, everybody, well, we are back from pop hunting, so let's go through everything that I picked up today because I really did get some good stuff. And if I'm gonna be honest, a lot more stuff than I expected because Hot Topic had way more than I thought. So let's start with what I got over at EB Games because I did get something pretty cool over there, and we're gonna 
start with the Pokemon because this here is pretty cool. This is the first partner pack and it is three oversized cards and then also two Pokemon TCG booster packs. And I definitely had to get this because if you guys remember a little while ago, I got the binder to put all of these cards in. And I actually brought the binder to show you guys. So it's this right here. It's pretty much like a normal size binder, but instead of having four squares for the cards, it has one big one. Hold on, there it is. Four large cards that come inside of those. And this binder came with an original Pikachu. And if you guys know, I am trying to collect pretty much every single Pikachu card out there. I know there is a lot of them, but I have maybe like 40 or 50. So I'm coming along. It's not many of them at all compared to how many they've made, but it's a work in progress. So I guess let's just get started with this, guys, and let's crack this thing open because I want to see the big cards that come inside of here. And also, if you guys don't know which ones it is, it would be the newest starters, which would be the Grookey, Sobble, and Scorbunny. All right, so let's crack this thing open and let's see what these cards look like. Now I just gotta figure out how to do it nicely. I'm gonna try and do it from the back like a normal pack. Mm, it tear it in the front a little bit. Ugh. All right, well anyways guys, let's start with these here. So here are the cards that we get inside. Now these look great. And also if you guys are wondering, they actually did use the exact same art that were the starters in the actual TCG set. So they didn't just make up new cards to kind of all fit together. They go with whatever they looked like originally. So here are the three cards right here. The only thing that's different about them is that they're huge and then they also have the 25th anniversary logo on the side here. So we've got the Grookey, we've got the Score Bunny, and then we also have the Sobble. And then like I had said, it also came with two packs of cards. So, oh nice, these are good ones. Okay, so we got the base set Sun and Moon and Vivid Voltage. Now, I don't have my Pokemon set here with me, but I'm gonna open these up right now just to see if I got anything good. Oh, and also while I'm cracking this open, I do wanna mention that I have a second set of this coming so I can keep one sealed for my kind of like sealed collection because I think it'll be cool to have every single one of them sealed as well as opened and put in the binder. And guys, it looks like we did get a good code card. And if you guys want the code for this, there it is right there. Now, I don't know what we could get inside of here. Let's see. So I think it's four from the back on this one. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but we do have an energy, Rotom deck, Charbug, we've got Rainbow Energy, Eevee, Dupider, Poliwag, Paris, Chinchow, Wingo, and ooh, a Lanala GX! We got a good one! Now that's pretty cool. All right guys, we started off strong. Now let's get something cool in Vivid Voltage. Now I also am hunting for two Pikachus in Vivid Voltage still. I'm hunting for the, I guess, Full Art Pikachu as well as the Rainbow Chunky Chew. So maybe we'll get one of those today. I could see it in the camera. We are definitely not getting that today, but if you guys wanna see the code card, there it is right there. Well, I'm not actually even gonna do the trick for this one guys, we got nothing good. I mean, the rare card that we got was Clefable, but still, it's a nice one and I don't think I have it for my set. But I mean, the main reason I did buy this was to actually put the big cards into the binder. So let's start with, actually, who do you start with here? Would you start with Sobble, Score Bunny, or Grook? I don't think it really matters. So I'll just start with Sobble for now and slide this card into the front. Now it also says promo in the corner. I wonder if it says promo for the Pikachu. It does not. Huh, interesting. So maybe these are the promo cards that you would get inside of like the original tins for uh, Sword and Shield. I almost said Sun and Moon, there's Sword and Shield. Maybe. I don't know, I'd have to check. And well, there we go guys. We've got a couple more starters for the binder and this is starting to look pretty good. Now I know it's not full by any means, but I'm definitely gonna try to get every single one of these packs every single month. Oh, and one more thing before we get into the Pokemon cards, inside of the binder with the Pikachu, you also get this here telling you which ones are gonna be coming every single month. So I guess it starts with Galar and ends with Kanto. All right, anyways, guys, now let's get into the pops that we got over at EB Games, and I guess we'll start with this one because this one's kind of the outlier out of the three that I got, and also, they're having a pretty big sale right now. I believe it's on till March, I think it said 23rd. I don't remember the exact date, but there is a buy two, get one some percent off over at EB Games right now. So the first one that I got, and the only reason I got it was because it was on sale, but I really wanted to see what it smells like. This is the My Little Pony Retro Toys EB Games exclusive, and this one here is called Cotton Candy, so fingers crossed it smells like that. Okay, now I gotta check this thing just to see please smell like cotton candy because if not I feel like this was kind of a waste of a purchase and I don't want to get every single one of the retro toys my little pony ones but I did want to get maybe one or two for my set because I am trying to get as many retro toys as possible but I've mentioned it a couple times I don't know if I want to get every single one of the ponies all right guys so here we go what does cotton candy smell like you know what it's kind of like a uh no, this is definitely cotton candy, but kind of reminds me of like a strawberry, raspberry kind of smell. 
It's somewhere in between there, definitely. And now if you guys want to see the cotton candy pop a little bit closer up, there it is right there, and I think this thing looks great. The only thing that I don't like about it, but I totally understand why they did it, was that the heads are kind of tilted down, but if you've ever seen the original My Little Pony ones, their heads are kind of just droopy a bit, more like real horses or ponies. And then of course, as the years went on, they did make them a little bit perkier, so that way their heads were kind of straight up and smiling, instead of that kind of realistic horse look. And now this is one that I'm definitely gonna be keeping inside of a protector, that way I can contain the scent for as long as possible. I might even put it into a hard stack so that way it's actually like clamped in there and it can't seep out of any holes. But for now, we'll just keep it on the desk. Alrighty, now the next thing that I got, and you guys probably know what they are, is I got the two Ralph McCory figures that they had. So they had the Concept Series R2-D2, which in my opinion, kind of looks a little bit cooler than the R2-D2 we have now. But here's the thing, I think anything different or what it could have been will probably look cooler just because we know that R2-D2 and we've come to know and love that character. But this one here really does look nice. And maybe, just maybe, this is what they based Chopper off of. Because if you guys know Chopper, he does kind of have his arms out on the sides, or like those clamps or whatever, more more often than R2-D2 does, and I know they did base Zeb from the same show off of the original concept series Chewbacca, so you never know. Why are you saying that like this is some revolutionary thing you're just thinking of, Tristan? We were on the same Star Wars tour in Disney, okay? Man, I heard the same stuff as you. You didn't just come up with this stuff, man. Of course it's based off of that. I'm so I it's true, okay? He didn't come up with this. But anyways, there's the concept series R2-D2, and then I also got this one, and I didn't know they could do it, but they somehow made Yoda look older than he actually is. So here is Yoda right there, and I mean, he's probably still like 800 years old here, but he kind of looks more like 900 or 1,000. Sorry, Yoda. And then, so the other two on the back of the box here that I definitely want to get is the Concept Series C-3PO as well as Darth Vader, and I will get them eventually. I just need to find them in stores first. And I'm just noticing now, I have every single one of the Concept Series ones. I've got Boba Fett, Chewbacca, Starkiller, as well as Darth Vader, and I'm realizing now they're making another Darth Vader. It must be a different concept from Ralph McQuarrie, but they're still all cool. All right, everybody, so that was it for EB Games. Now let's get on to Hot Topic, where I bought a lot more than expected, and also you guys probably saw this one in my bag when I was leaving the store, but I got this right here, which is the Kool-Aid Man plush. Now this is a lot bigger than I expected, but also kind of cheaper than I expected. So you know what, guys, just for fun, let's play a little bit of a game here. Is it A, $35, was it B, $24, or was it C, 15? Put your guesses in the comment section below. It was, you guessed it, B, $24.99. A lot cheaper than I thought. Because even the girls over at my Hot Topic were like, I'm guessing this is probably gonna be $40. And then when they scanned it in, it was only $24.90. And I had Hot Cash, which made this a lot cheaper. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that there was only a couple days left for Hot Cash. So I kind of went all out because I did have enough Hot Cash to buy, I think it was like eight pops. It's a lot. So I guess we'll try to go in some sort of order here. And I think we're gonna start with the one that I only got one of, which is from the Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now I am trying to get every single one of these characters because I really do love the Miles Morales suits, especially from the game. So the one that I got today was the Miles Morales winter suit. And this one is the Hot Topic exclusive version. And what I think is so cool about this one is that he's actually hanging off of a, I believe a lamp post. I think it is. Anyways, let's just pop this one out of the box so I can show you guys what it actually looks like because I'm kind of intrigued as well. So at least I think it's a lamp post. What is, oh, it's not a lamp post. See, this is a missed opportunity. What is this? Okay, I still, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I still like the character, but I mean, Funko, you totally could have made that a lamp post instead of just a piece of clear vinyl. But uh, yeah, it's still a really great figure and I'm glad I grabbed it. But I mean, come on, look at this. It totally could have been just like a little lamp post that goes up, over, and down instead of just a little piece of, I'm not gonna complain. I like the pop. I mean, Funko, you did a good job on this, but I mean, come on. It would have been so easy just to make it gray instead of clear. All right, so after Miles Morales, I got a couple of the Deadpool Funko Pops. Actually, I believe I bought pretty much every single one that they had today. So let's go through those ones, starting with the Hot Topic exclusive Ballerina Deadpool. Now, these are so random, but I think it's cool that they are celebrating the 30th anniversary of Deadpool with a lot more figures. And then also on the back of the box here, it looks like I think I'm missing three of them out of the common wave, but I also have this one. So we are definitely over half for this set so far. So anyways, I got the ballerina Deadpool. Then I also got a couple more. I got the LARP Deadpool. Is this LARP? It really should have said LARPing Deadpool because it's live action role playing instead of live action role. 
I guess role playing is one word, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, here is the LARPing Deadpool, and this one was a definite pickup for me because this one's just too funny. All right, then after that, we got this one right here, which is the Barista Deadpool. Now this one, I was a little bit worried about. It looked like the coffee cup was kind of falling over, so I want to check this one by taking it out of the box just to make sure it's okay. Because they only had, I think, one or two of this character left, and I tried to get the better of the two, and this one seemed to be a little bit nicer. Let me check this out here. Oh! Okay, I think we're okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's a little tilted, but who cares? Actually, it's a little bit more than a little tilted, but at least Deadpool's got it on the plate, so he should be okay. Actually, now that I look at it, guys, I don't even know if I would be able to tilt that up. Like, it looks like it's kind of supposed to be like that. I don't know. Is it like that on the box? Not really, but one hand is definitely lower than the other here. I mean, I'll keep it a buck. I don't really care. As long as it's connected, I'm fine. Well, anyways, that's another Deadpool. And then it looks like we also got one more and they only had one of this one left. So I definitely wanted to grab this one. This is the Backyard Griller Deadpool. And this one has, I think like two or three pieces to it. All right, so here's the actual Deadpool figure and something really cool about this one that I just noticed. And if you didn't take this one out of the box, you wouldn't see it, is that his entire backside is on fire. You can even see his butt's on fire and his pants are starting to burn. So that's neat. I really like that on fire. Funko's part. That is some great detail. Then it also came with the grill where the steak is on fire in the inside. You guys can kind of see that there. And there's one more thing which says El Pyro. And it's this tiny little thing. I believe this would be kind of like lighter fluid. And this is a really tiny piece. Maybe one of the tiniest pieces Funko's ever given us. So if anybody out here was thinking of buying this for someone who likes to put their Funko Pops in their mouths, just don't, because this is a choking hazard, 100%. Or, well, it might be so small that you wouldn't choke on... <coughs> Choking just thinking about it. Never mind. All right, everybody. So that is all of the Marvel figures that I got today. And I did get three more. So let's go through those ones next. And I think we're going to go with this one first, which is the only pop icons that I got today. But it was a pretty cool one. I am still looking for the chase for this one. But it is the Evil Knievel. Oh, and I also forgot. There's also an Evil Knievel on his motorcycle. Actually, is that the one with the chase? Or is the one with the chase this one? I don't remember now. I know one of them is where he doesn't have a helmet on. And then the chase version is him with the helmet. I just don't remember if that's the one of him on the motorcycle or this one here it's probably this one but i'm not sure and if you guys don't know who evil knievel is he is kind of like a daredevil he would use his motorcycle and jump things i don't remember the biggest thing he's jumped but we'll definitely say a shark yeah he's jumped the shark and as you guys probably know, I am trying to get every single Icons Funko Pop, so this is one that I definitely need, and I will definitely need the chase, and I will definitely need the one of him on the motorcycle, so when I can find those ones, I will definitely show them off to you guys, but we are one step closer to finishing that Icons collection. Because you guys can always see them in the background of my videos, and there is a couple more down here, one more level as well, and we really are getting close. I think we're maybe missing now six or seven? It's not many. All right, guys, now let's get into the ad icons that I picked up. Well, actually, one of them was the Pop Fun Foods, and then the other one was the Pop Ad Icons. Whatever, they're ad icons in my eyes. So let's get on to this one here first, which is the Scented Slush Puppy. Oh, I got two Scented Pops today. Okay, we're definitely going to have to smell this one as well. And it's kind of funny. This is two not flocked scented characters, and I noticed if they are flocked and scented, they usually last longer. But let's see what this one smells like. I'm guessing it's probably going to be raspberry or cherry. It's kind of like a fake, kind of like one of those like hard candies that you'd find but you don't know where they came from. You know the ones with the little kind of like, they look like a strawberry with the wrapper on the top? Yeah, just like that. But I think Funko did a great job with this character here. And the only thing is, is I have the original one. If you were to take this out of the box and look at both of them together, you would not know the difference. Like the sculpt is exactly the same. So I'm definitely gonna have to keep this one in the box. I mean, I was going to anyways. I'm probably gonna huck it into a hard protector as well. But yeah, this one is definitely something I wanna keep safe. All right, everybody. Now, last but not least, we got this one right here, which is another ad icon. Well, it's the whatever the you know what I mean it's the foodies one but this one here is the powdered donuts diamond edition so now I think I only need the coca-cola diamond edition and then I have pretty much all of these guys and this one here I think looks great I do have the original donuts but I wanted to get both of them to complete the entire set and I'm looking around and now that I think about it I'm pretty sure that this one is the exact same number as the original one so I didn't really have to get both but I am trying to complete every single one of the fun foods as well so I had to get it for my set 
And if you guys wanna see the Diamond Edition one out of the box, here it is right here. Now this looks great. And now I know a lot of people have been making comparisons with these characters to the ones that came out at McDonald's a little while ago of different board games. So it would be really cool if Funko did something like that in the future. But here is the donuts right here looking very sparkly. And also, if you guys are wondering, is any glitter coming off on my hand? Like if I were to rub my hand on it, I'm kind of just touching it all over. You get a little bit. It's nothing crazy, so just don't touch it too much. But I think Funko's doing a really great job with the Diamond Edition characters, especially these ones here, because they kind of have that little bit of glitter, but just enough to make it look better than the original one. I mean, if you don't like the glitter, you don't have to get it. I mean, you don't have to get anything if you don't like it. But I'm just saying these, in my opinion, look a little bit neater than the original ones. And also, I think that this definitely is worth getting both of them because the glitter is a lot, but also not too much at the same time. Like, by that I mean it looks good, but it's not too over the top to make it look tacky. All right, everybody, so I wanted to look up the Funko Fun Foods online just to see which ones I might be missing. And the only thing that I'm missing is that Box Lunch exclusive Diamond Edition Coca-Cola can. So once I get that one, I've got every single one. So so I really am getting close to getting every single one of the fun foods as well as ad icons. But before we get out of here, of course, let's spin the wheel. All right, so for the wheel today, I'm kind of just hoping for maybe ad icons would be fun. I think that would be a good one to get, especially because we've been talking about ad icons pretty much all day. Or maybe Marvel, I could show off an old Deadpool one. I don't know. I don't really care. But here we go, guys. Uh-oh, the wheel's being wacky again. Hold on. Let me spin that again real quick. Hold on. Let's try this again. There we go. No, it's being weird. Ah, oh, great. What happened? No. Is that going to do it? Okay, I'm going to hold. I might have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to hold it today. Okay, here we go, guys. Not great, but we'll take it. Uh, Star Wars. All right. Well, guys, since we were talking about Ralph McQuarrie, I kind of wanted to go with one of the older, weird Star Wars concept figures. And this one I went with is, of course, the concept series Chewbacca, because this one is just so odd. I definitely wanted to show this one off again. So here it is right here. And all of it's kind of like ugliness, but also glory at the same time. Because I can't really say he's too ugly because then they wouldn't want to use him. So they did use him. He's just Zeb in Star Wars Rebels. And also you guys can see on the side here, it's got the very similar ears as well as head shape. The only difference is, is he doesn't have fur and he's purple. But yeah, I think Funko going back and making the concept series figures was an amazing idea. And I will definitely be getting all of them as they come out. And so far I have pretty much all of them. I think I'm only missing two, which is of course the other Darth Vader and the C-3P. And if you guys are wondering when this one came out, it was back in 2020 for the Galactic Conventions exclusive, which didn't happen that year, but at least they came up with figures. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Drippin' like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B five four thump. I'm a hump on a bump. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby tryna get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She callin' me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lashes.